Thomas Aikens is an even more resolute realist. He studied both art and anatomy, and painted as he saw the subject, not as the public would like. This means that he's going to be particularly controversial in a lot of his paintings, including the Gross Clinic. Now, this painting is rejected from the Centennial Exhibition in Philadelphia in 1876. It's, I should restate, it's rejected from the art exhibit, but will be put forth in the medical hall. And in the painting, we see Dr. Samuel Gross, who has developed a new operation. And we also see an interesting focus on science, something that we haven't seen since Joseph Wright in the Enlightenment. All the figures have been identified. We know who all these figures are, and that's really interesting that he's using that element, that amount of detail in the work. So what we're seeing is anesthetic being applied via cloth. The image is seen as arguably too real for the public. This is part of its controversy. So, for example, we have the leg. And what's happening is they're actually operating on a bone cancer. So they're going in, they're taking out the cancerous bone, and we're seeing it in all of its morbid detail. We also see the mother there, right next to the scalpel. And... This has got to be an awkward situation. First of all, the mother sitting there and the scalpel so close to her, a reminder of how dangerous surgery at the time would have been. She's not sure if her son is going to live or die through this. So it gets at some of the emotion that we would have seen in romanticism, but here it comes off as very realistic, as something that would actually happen. Now, the focus is also on the head of the good doctor. That's because it's focusing on his brilliance, on his ideas, on his wisdom. And one of the ways to do that is to cast a light on the head, to get across the sense of intellect. Now, the piece would ultimately hang in a medical school until 2006 when it's eventually going to be sold. And when we look at it, we really see the antithesis of Homer. There's no nostalgia. There's no hopefulness. Definitely not for the mother. Instead, we have a very real depiction of the cutting edge of science. He doesn't even take the time to cover up, for example, the patient's buttocks or to make everyone look modest and decent. Instead, what we see is reality. And that's what Aikens is known for. That's why he won't be terribly popular in his lifetime, but he has definitely found a following since. 